Hi, I'm Andy with the SRI Developer Network team, and I'm here with Rex. Hey, Rex. Hello. And Art. Hey, hey Art. And we're going to get a sneak peek on the ArcGIS API for Microsoft Silverlight. So, Rex, what do you have in store for us today? All right, well, we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, examples of working with the ArcGIS API for Microsoft Silverlight and how it can function uh, cross-browser, cross-platform to assist you in developing some rich internet applications, some rich interactive applications. Uh, primarily what we're going to try and show here is the ability to integrate ArcGIS server data. Uh, conceivably we could put virtual earth data. Uh, we could utilize virtual earth data within our, uh, within our Silverlight API. Uh, we can integrate uh, services and, and other components uh, within our, our Silverlight applications that uh, expose the ability to uh, work within mapping, uh, geocoding, uh, geoprocessing, and uh, also leverage the Silverlight capabilities of media integration and the uh, enhanced look and feel uh, that you get with a, uh, a rich Silverlight application. Uh, so Art's got a couple of demos for us and we can take a look at uh, a couple of these items in action. And so let's go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look, see what we've got. Let's yeah, jump let's in there. So what, do you, uh, what would you like to see first, Macintosh or Windows? I'd like to see Macintosh first. Great, then come on over here. Alright, so what I did is I opened up a uh, browser inside of Mac OS, uh, Mac OS X 10.5, it's uh, the Leopard OS, and you'll see that I've opened up the Silverlight API SDK library, a bunch of samples that will be made available on the Resource Center, very similar to what you have out there with the Flex and the JavaScript APIs, etc. So what I want to do is um, to show you this little example, I've got a uh, Silverlight map control. I've got the street map data from ArcGIS Online. But I want to show you this cool little widget that we're actually exposing. And this widget is a magnifier. And then that magnifier acts more like a swipe tool that shows you a feature underneath, um, a set of layers that are exposed underneath the street map data, which is pretty cool. Now, the nice thing about the widget is the widget is going to be made available um, in source code so you can continue building on existing widgets with the uh, Silverlight API. We have a whole um, host of widgets that will be made available from the get-go that, that will enable you to work with our Silverlight API, things like toolbars, a navigation control, um, sliders, etc., bookmarks. As a matter of fact, if we switch over to Windows Vista, let me show you an application that leverages um, some of the widgets with our map control and that's over here on Vista 64 and what I'm doing is I actually have uh, the Google Chrome browser with the Silverlight plugin embedded in it and on there you'll see that I've got this little map control and let me actually go out to the world now the world itself is nothing more than ArcGIS Online but it's using a bookmark widget which is available in our widgets gallery and of course you'll see this little fancy navigation control which started out as a, uh, a navigation style control similar to that of Explorer, but through control templating and expression blend, we were able to switch things out. Now we have this fancy uh, little globe. As a matter of fact, I can highlight on the globe and move it around and zoom to different areas. For instance, I'm in Europe right now, but let's bounce over to India. And yeah, let's jump over to Key West and then, of course, go back out to the United States. You'll see how easy it flows and it's animated both in pan and zoom, and um, takes advantage of quite a few capabilities. Virtual Earth, the Silverlight API will come out at the uh, Dev Summit. We're going to make the big splash with this thing. Um, has some Dev Summit tech sessions that we're going to be presenting, both Rex and I. Um, but it'll also work with Microsoft Virtual Earth. And for that, I actually have a little demo here that shows, there we go, and it's coming up with the Virtual Earth demo using the staging server from the Virtual Earth services. And of course, I can move these things around and you'll see the tiles come in from Virtual Earth. If I click on the map, you'll see that it does a quick little buffer, highlights the parcels around it, complete with map tips, shows additional information. And of course, if I click on the data grid, which is using data binding, you'll see that the feature itself is highlighted on, this, on the uh, Silverlight map control with the virtual earth data layers in there. So not only do we have this set of uh, Silverlight components that work in pure managed code, there's, there's nothing here that's not pure managed um, code for the Microsoft Silverlight platform using .NET, 
Um, but we also have a set of widgets. Um, hopefully we'll be using CodePlex for that. Um, if not, the code gallery for sure. And then of course, um, additional data layers like uh, Virtual Earth that will be made available to uh, uh, anyone that wants to use it from uh, ArcGIS Online, Premium Services, or whatever. And just to make sure that all this works across all supported browsers and platforms, we even have Windows 7. I was just going to ask. Yeah, so we have Windows 7, which is now out in beta form. And, of course, Silverlight, being a Microsoft technology, just works with it. And, of course, what I have here is, is something real simple. Everyone's seen, hey, I want to draw 20,000 points on the map using a clustering algorithm. Well, we now have the same thing implemented in Silverlight that's there in Flex. Zoom into a given area. You see that it zooms into the map. And, of course, it now draws a different symbol because I have 10 points or less in a given area. But the difference between these other flaring symbols that you see and ours is that we support the Silverlight animation. So if I hover over a feature that has five or three or two, it'll animate out and display the correct number of points underneath there. And as I move over and I hover over that feature that's, that's flared out, I now see the, the map tip associated with that. Just a sneak peek, there's going to be a ton more that we're going to show you at the Dev Summit. Rex and I will be showing this at a couple of tech, tech sessions. And if nothing else, you can come find us. We're always there. All right. Well, thanks, Rex and Art. We appreciate the information, and we look forward to seeing you guys at the Dev Summit. Great. Cool. Thank you. All right. See you.